make sure I have enough time to go over your test. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, again, the first thing we want to do is write it in standard form. So I have 2x to the fifth plus 3x to the fourth minus x cubed minus 7x <coughs> plus 1. Does everybody follow me? Does everybody see how that's nicely now in descending order? It's nice and beautiful. So therefore, I, you don't have to do this, but I am going to determine what the degree is. The degree in this case is 5, and my leading coefficient is 2. You don't have to show all this work, but I think when you're struggling with this or you're having trouble, this really makes a lot of sense. For our degree, we only care if our degree is even or odd, if our leading coefficient is positive or negative. A lot of students forget which one you're supposed to do. Is it the degree is even or odd, or is it positive or negative? Is the leading coefficient even or odd, or positive or negative? So I'm writing it down for you right now. I would recommend writing it down for every problem you do until you remember the stuff like this. So we look at the number 5. Is that even or is that odd? Odd. odd. So circle it. Is my leading coefficient positive or negative? Positive. OK, so let's go ahead. Oh, did I do the same one? So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Um, if you have an odd and positive on your little end behavior chart, where does, what does that do? Huh? No, what's the end behavior? Up, down, left, right, what happens? Yes? Yeah, you could just say fall left or down left and then rise right or upright. That's it. That's all I'm asking you to do. Does that make sense? So I'm going to 